Comrades, welcome back to Oriental Empires. Our quest is continuing here with the Chu uh, state, and in the last episode we encountered a mysterious force in the forests here to the east. And they are from, uh, if we just have a look again, it should still say it here. Yes, they're from the Han. Now, unfortunately, we can't contact them yet, so we don't know what their intentions are. But I think for now we can assume that they are not hostile. So let's just have a look at what they do when we end this turn. If they attack the bandits, that will, of course, be very helpful to us. But if not, then we'll have to do so. In the last episode, we also had a battle in the river here, which we decisively won. So I'm very pleased with that, because fighting in a river is not really the most sound strategy, I would think, if we're trying to be, uh, you know, very much uh, strategic. So in any case, that worked out in our favor. So let's just have a look at everything else that's happening here. We saw that uh, the chi has increased here for Wang Guo, and this is our heir. Of course, he hasn't won any battles yet, because he is supposed to ensure peace and order in Danyang here, in uh, our capital. Which, if we have a look, is not going too well, I'm afraid. The uh, noble unrest is uh, very high here at 44%, but I think it might have been a bit higher even in the last episode so he is having some effect then the peasant rebellion uh, or uh, their rebelliousness is at 29 percent so once they're done with the pavilion i'm going to leave them for a while to just continue with their farming i don't want to push them too far let's just see what the advisor said here trade is the key to building uh, build bazaars were we doing that last time i think we were actually that would be inside the town. Yes, so that's almost finished as well. So I'll let that finish and then we'll give them a break there. What about the other cities? Ying has a lot less unhappiness. Only 1% for the peasants, even though all of them are busy building a new farm. So I think after that we can even begin building a pavilion here as well to quell some of the noble unrest. Then, what about the last one? Ruo has uh, zero peasant unhappiness because it's a very new town. And they're building the pavilion now to again help quell the noble unrest. So that seems to be the theme of the, uh, of the cities at the moment. A lot of noble unrest. They haven't adapted to Cao Hui's leadership yet. So, let's see. I'm just going to exit out of this and uh, we have... Our army is on two fronts at the moment. On the western frontier, we have the uh, peasant light spearmen and the noble axemen, and they are chasing this group of bandits, and uh, they are both light spearmen. So I think let us continue with that. We won't be able to reach them in the next turn unless they move forward, but uh, I think it's wise to chase them. Then we'll anyway expose more of the land towards the west. Then on this flank here in the east, I think we'll send Cao Hui forth. Hopefully the uh, Han won't get in the way there because I don't want to start the battle with them. But we do need to wipe out those bandits. So we'll see what happens there. I don't think there's much else I need to do now. We are finished with the farm there, but we don't have any technology that was finished last time. So let's move forward. And there is indeed a battle, it seems. Oh dear, well, scratch what I said about the Han not being aggressive. I guess we all start out aggressive with one another. Let's just hope we win here, because the bandits are watching. Mm-hmm. It's all over. Didn't take too much, apparently. Hopefully this will be the foundation for, uh, I would almost want to say good relations with the Han, but at least where they are a bit intimidated by us. I doubt that anyway, but we'll see what happens there once we make formal contact. I think these bandits are 
No match. I'm just having some tea here in the background, which is maybe not the most polite thing while my men are slaughtering people. So that's done, and uh, yes, hopefully the Han will keep their distance. Is there anything on the other front? No, they did retreat, so we weren't able to catch them. So what happened now? War, oh dear. This nation has declared war against you for no reason. Hmm. Prepare for battle, we are coming. Which is quite strange because we haven't really formally been introduced yet. Can I even talk to them? No, I can't. You have lost contact. We've never met them. I don't know. That's why I was thinking I was hoping they wouldn't like step in front of us when we were advancing towards the rebels but or the, the bandits, but that isn't what happened. They moved on us. Well, we have an enemy now. Just at least we know what their intentions are. We finished both the pavilion and the bazaar in our capital, so I will not build anything new this turn there. And I think we should just move forward on this western front as well. Let's just see, did this actually help? 39% for the nobles now. So yes, it's definitely helping. Let's have a look at it. That's very lovely indeed. I can see why it's helping. And... If you have a look here, uh, let's just make sure I can zoom in. There is the thumbnail that I'm using for this series. That's actually from the other uh, game that I started originally on my own that I was inspired by. And uh, yes, there's our thumbnail. So let's have a look. What else can we do in any of the other cities perhaps? Is it possible to trade with another city with only one bazaar? to be sold to nearby settlements. I'm wondering, how does this actually work? Oh yes, it's working already. Good, good to know. And that should be giving us a good bit of income as well. And that also goes to the south. Fantastic. But now why do we still have people building other activities? I wonder what does that mean, other activities? It could be to do with the rhinos, perhaps. Hmm, strange. Oh well, I'll leave them for now. What about Ying? They are still busy with the farm. Hmm, they're taking a long time. And the other front? They are busy with the pavilion still, and our advisor is calling on us to build a mine. Perhaps that would be the next move there, but uh, that will have to wait four turns. So now that we know we're at war, I'm going to send our troops to wipe out the Han here. I don't want them gathering any intelligence about our cities here. Anything else? I don't think so. So let's move on. And there's another clash. Good, our leader is keeping his distance. I'm not going to give the Han the satisfaction of killing Kao Hui. And they flee quite easily. Strange. Hmm. Hopefully they'll start suing for peace, but that's wishful thinking. And I guess I'll speed it up a bit. Oh, the bandits didn't even bother. It's strange that they won't attack each other, though. Maybe they've got some kind of thing going on. So we only have the two battle reports this season. Uh, one casualty for us against the bandits. And also, is that the same one? No, that was on the other front. I didn't even look there. Against the Han, though, we only had one as well. Or was there another front battle? No, there wasn't. They moved again. We really have to catch them because they're getting rather close to our cities here. What's this? More rhino. Hmm. Got to look out for more resources. I think we're going to keep chasing the Hun. Maybe we'll discover where they are and also what other potential good places there would be for settlement. 
I'm wondering when is the next settler finished? Or available at least. One more turn. And what else? Nothing. Still building here. Good grief. Are they though? You cannot construct. There's a labor shortage. That's why. But now can I cancel the farm there? They're not building anything else, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe they're working on the rhinoceros. It's very strange. Oh well. I'll just leave them to their own devices for now. I see more of the Han are skulking about the north. And here we're still busy with the pavilion as well, so no need to look. But I think I might train some more troops here if possible. No, it's not possible. <laughs> Okay, well, from the capital then. More peasant militia and more noble axemen. That will help. And of course, we still have Wang Guo here as well. I think it would be safe to move him now since the unrest is now, wow, only 16%. So it really is uh, very effective, this pavilion. So let's send out the troops. And one of the things we could try is to ambush the... Uh, bandits on the western side here Let's just select all of the units and then give them some orders because I don't want the uh, air to be killed but let's move just a little bit at first let me see if I give him the order to be defensive no not outflank there, defensive. So that should work. Then anything else I think is okay. I'm not going to worry about the facing right now. Then, yes, once they're done with those bandits, we can move to the north and wipe out this bodyguard. Ooh, hold on. Since this is a bodyguard, this must be the leader. I'm not going to try to say that. Okay, let me actually try. Shia, I don't know. Is that, that CE? Is that a... I don't, I don't know how to say that. I'll have to defer to your judgment, comrades. Maybe you can guide me. But Shia here is uh, looking quite upset. So maybe instead of going after the bandits, we should just rush straight up to the north and see if we can't execute him. And anything more? No, let's move on. And they flee the cowards, the gutless worms. And those other bandits are just running the whole time. Character. You always have at least one and usually more named characters to control. One of which is your faction leader, which we know. They have two rating... What's new here? Oh, the orange, orange encounter markers. We've never paid attention to that. I think we need to do that. Although I would love to chase their leader first. Let's do that. Settler. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. There's also progress on the power research, the military draw. We now have the peasant long spearmen. And what's next? Signaling. That gives us a barracks. Interesting. Or the chariot. Gentlemen ride chariots. Uh, I think let's do the barracks. Hopefully that will actually give us some advantage somewhere down the line. It would seem to do so. Then what next? There is of course the settler. I think we shouldn't delay with that. We should grab him as quickly as we can. Recruit. And then repair looted farms. Did they actually loot anything? Oh yes, where they're standing right now. So what does she say about that? Some of your farms have been destroyed, so the settlement is not producing enough food. You need to rebuild the farms. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I guess we can't do it while they're actually standing on it. Then we'll have to wait. And you keep chasing those bandits. 
With nobles, your noble warriors are much better trained and equipped than bandits or militia and will make short work of them in battle. That's if we can catch them. So what else do I need to do? The settler we need to grab and then decide where to go. It seems like there is a potential site towards the east here that will give us access to fish. The rich shoals of fish here will increase the something by four. There's a little problem there. Will increase by four the food supply of any settlement. So that's easy food for us. Is there anything else though? Some sites down here. These places could immediately export to this location, but there's nothing here to export. We could even go further to the north. I think, though, let's go towards the fish. Why not? Let's build out the empire, but I don't want to send someone out here. This is too far away. So, where is the settler again? Can I have them? I think I had them selected. And just move towards there, please. Then... We have another force coming in here, peasant, light spearmen, and noble axemen, so that's a bit more of a challenge. I think we'll be okay, but see, we're surround surrounded here now, that's a problem. There's Zhushi. This is, is this their heir? Faction leader. Know your enemy as you know yourself. That's what uh, Sun Tzu said there last time. Hmm, now if that's the leader, then this one up here must be the heir. Faction heir, that's right. So if we can manage to kill both of them, I'm thinking that's going to create a great deal of instability in the, the Han state. So let's try to do that. We'll definitely meet resistance here, but I think we could manage it. So it's funny that this one isn't moving though. Hmm, he's waiting for it. Oh well, too bad for him. And we finished the wooden palisade in Ying, so that's good. And we know they were farms destroyed here, which I'll fix as soon as I can. And Qi increase for Wang Guo. Or is this now Kao Hui? No, it's Kao Hui. So he's getting quite well here with his Qi. And his authority is uh, climbing. It's four now. So our overall authority is, if I could get that screen there. Well, we'll see it when we end the turn, which I'm going to do now. He's fleeing the, the rat. Or is he? Yes, he is. Oh well, we'll chase him to the ends of the earth. We were provoked. We were the ones attacked. And there's also going to be a fight here, I think. Yep. So is that the only battle happening now? Yes, this, this side they're fleeing. And what about the other bandits? They are attacking. Attacking the city, it seems. Well, we're attacking them in the north there. So much happening. Kill the air. We've surrounded them. Don't let them leave. Not another good place to be fighting. Get them. Difficult, they are struggling with their maneuvers here. And there they go. Hopefully, we killed the air. What about the bandits? They seem to be done. Okay, but now they're still down here, though. The other ones were the ones fleeing. Okay, at least we drove one of them off. Good grief, these bandits are just multiplying the whole time. Then, anything else? What about the flank here? No, nothing. They fled. So I'll just speed it up now. What's happening here? It seems like they there's now two units again. As if they came back out of the forest. Well, this is the capital. We can't let this stand. We might lose this one, actually. But we have the towers firing. That's good. Oh, 
Where are you? Come on. Why are you just marching around the edges there? They're like a bit confused here. They don't know what's going on. And now these other ones should move in from the back. Okay. There they go. So yes, this is the noble unit. They will do better than the peasant spearmen. Okay. Victory. Hopefully no more farms were pillaged in the making of this video. Speed it up. Right, so I think first thing, fix this farm if possible. Uh, let's see, how would I now proceed? They just say we must build a new one, but I can't. Nothing else is available. I can build farms on the outskirts here, but that's not the one that's pillaged. Strange, there's a lot of things I don't know here yet. Oh well, let's see if we can't build a bow here. I think that might be a good thing. The peasants are very unhappy, but I'm starting to think that we need to be more on top of this whole thing. Then, uh, is there anything else? Let's look at the other cities. Ruo is completely happy, uh, despite the fact that everyone is busy. So I think let's build another... I can't build anything here. Oh, it's wrong, wrong screen. <laughs> Uh, no, not a bazaar, maybe a pottery workshop or even a granary. But I think let's first do the palisade. That seems to be the first order of business. And then in Ying, they're still complaining about the farms, but we have the people available at least, and they're completely happy. So please build me something. They can't. Hmm. Hmm. It's funny. Maybe I need to leave them. They finished the other farm now, so they need to grow the population a bit. You can see it's increasing there. Okay, fine. I will come back to you next turn. But now, are these guys just leading us into a trap here? So yes, I think we'll just keep chasing them here. Uh, there's no point in letting them run around. But I want to know what happened with the air now. I think we've disbanded them here, so... I'd like to have a look at that report. That would be the Ruo one. 45 were... Is that now our people? 45 were killed, but only 14 of the Han. Strange. I want to know the, the casualties. I wonder, did we actually manage to get the air? Maybe. Characters in battle with a high chi boost the fighting power of troops in battle. And the virtue boosts their morale. I think we'll just have to keep going north and see if the, any remnants of that group still hang around there. And then, of course, we'll advance here in the east. Then, yes, I'm still not sure what to do with this farm. Pillaged farmland. But these troops can chase after the last bandit uh, marauding unit there. Unit replenishment. Yes, I know they're very exhausted here, but uh, so are the bandits, I think. Is it possible to have a, have a look? Mm, not as much, though. Maybe we can send these troops back to the city, disband them, and then reform them again. That might be good, since there's no recruitment cost. Then, what else? Battle report. Then, of course, this is the one that we were looking at there, and that was more deadly for the bandits, thankfully. And the ceramic roof tiles were also finished. Good. So, let's have a look. What next? The churn drill. Maybe this one is good, because it leads to the copper mine, the gold mine, and the jade quarry. Yes, I think so. On the other hand, this gives us bronze armor. No, let's go for the armor, because we're already in a war here. We need to be more careful about this. So, let's move on.
don't see anyone to the north. But the bandits are indeed very uh, aggressive here. They've just torched another farm. But now these ones, this is the settler unit. They're still on their way. So what I would like to do now, there's a great deal of unrest here because of all the farms being burnt. All right, these units I would like to disband now, please. And is it even possible? Disband, there we go. So they can return back to the population pool there. And then, separate from that, I want to train some new recruits. Which I can only get one unit for. Oh well. Some of your farms have been destroyed. Yes, we know we need to rebuild them. Ah, now the option is there. Okay, so they can start on that one. It takes a few turns for the fires to die down. Well, should we not maybe send these ones out? I think so. This is now the one unit that we've got, but hopefully because they're now fully rested and fully replenished, they will be better than the bandits. What was that now? Losing a settlement. An undefended breach or gate. Well, that won't happen here, I hope. Then I see what these ones are doing. They're drawing us out while the other one catches up so that they can try and take us at the same time. But getting that leadership unit is just too valuable, so we, we can't stop that. Let's just see. Anything else? Ying is still growing. Can I order them to build something new? Not yet. Well, let's see how we fare in this round. They just won't let us catch them, which I don't blame them for, but I certainly would like to get rid of them. But this one, this is where it's on. So these bandits are very, very aggressive here. They don't even wait to be attacked. Doesn't seem like the towers from the city are doing too much, though. Good thing we built the palisade, though. Get him! Are we going to let this insult stand? They're fighting us at the very gates of our capital. Fight to the last man. Yeah, yes, that worked. Intimidation. Okay, well, we've driven them a little bit away, but we have to keep the chase going. Otherwise, they might do something about the settlers now. And in the north, still nothing. We really need another unit here, so we can corner this leadership unit, or leader. They're still moving forward. Now there's another unit. Hmm, it's just the flag that's moving. Oh well. Speed it up. They're too close to that settler. I don't like it. A suggestion. Hmm. It's time to think about recru recruiting another settler and starting a new settlement. Pushing south will eventually lead you to the great Yangtze River. While there is much land to be cleared to enable sizable settlements there, in the long term domination of the river would be very beneficial. Alternatively, try to find fertile ground to the southeast to create a farming settlement. Well, I was thinking this fishing settlement here will already contribute towards that goal. I don't know what the wisdom is of separating our settlements by long distances here. Really, we first need to find the Yangtze. Then we can uh, start thinking about that. But for now, I'm just going to plant the settler right here if we can. Adjacent to another player's units. Oh, come on. Should I? Ah, yes, I should withdraw the settler if I can. Just 
give them some distance there. Unfortunately, that's going to delay our settlement now. Keep chasing. And in the north, let's move over to the east so we can try and find the homeland of the Han, at least to know how far away they are. Then the Qi has increased for our air, and we finished a pavilion in Ruo, so the nobles will be happy there. And the peasants are now busy building the palisade. Good. And in Ying, the population is still skyrocketing there, so that's a good thing. And then we can put them to work somewhere else. Yes, we can start building another bow here. I think that's fine. Let's spread it out, because having archer units is very valuable for defense. And uh, right now, it seems we need it. Is there anything else? Battle report, bow year is finished in Danyang. That's also good. Can we recruit anyone? Yes, I think we better. Since there's no recruitment cost, we can just disband them again if we don't need them anymore. We can only get one, though. Oh, well, it's good. We don't want to leave the capital undefended. Then I think let's give it one more turn and then I'll end this episode. Our authority is going quite high now at six. Authority is the measure. Da, 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 so it limits the size of the empire. You currently have three settlements, so I think we can have up to six now. And culture is also two, so that's good. We're, after all, strong in culture, or supposed to be. Come on, just let me catch you. I promise I won't hurt you too much. Nope, they're not going to go for it. They're waiting for reinforcements. You see, there's now another unit. Get him! Well, at least the settler is out of harm's way. And in the north, we still see nothing. I'll speed it up again. Well, at least if we're chasing this leader, then he's not busy attacking us somewhere else. Uh, militia and noble units have no cost to recruit. We've seen that already. So move the settler back. Or should we send the settler south? You know, I'm tempted now, but it's not probably the best idea, especially undefended. Unit replenishment, unless we send this unit of spearmen with them. Okay, let's do that. We'll send these settlers on a long expedition, just to see if we can get a foothold somewhere on the Yangtze. And then we have even more bandits to the west here. So I guess if we could get another military unit, like another archer unit, we have the peasant archers, but now we can get the noble archers. So they're going to struggle if they try to take the city. We're just going to have to be noble uh, mobile to get to the north or the south if they should attack any of the other settlements. Hmm, okay, things are heating up here. I'm. Uh, what is this? Is this part of the Yangtze? Looks like it. So at least that's uh, some progress. Very much uh, enjoying this uh, series and its strategy. I'm actually thinking there was something I wanted to read again from Sun Tzu. That might be a good way to end off this episode. Let me just uh, find it here. Because that's again something we can keep in mind. Although I'm not sure how well it will translate into this game. And this is about the different uh, grounds or terrains. Sun Tzu said, we may distinguish six kinds of terrain. Accessible ground, entangling ground, temporizing ground, narrow passes, precipitous heights, positions at a great distance from the enemy. So there's six of them. Ground which can be freely traversed by both sides is called accessible. With regard to ground of this nature, be before the enemy in occupying the raised and sunny spots and carefully guard your line of supplies. That's why I don't want to send the settler too far from the homeland. Then you will be able to fight with advantage. Ground which can be abandoned, abandoned but is hard to reoccupy is called entangling. From a position of this sort, if the enemy is unprepared, you may sally forth and defeat him.
but if the enemy is prepared for your coming and you fail to defeat him, then return being impossible, disaster will ensue. So we mustn't let ourselves get cut off somewhere. When the position is such that neither side will gain by making the first move, it is called temporizing ground. In a position of this sort, even though the enemy should offer us an attractive bait, it will be advisable not to stir forth, but rather to retreat, thus enticing the enemy in his turn. Then, when part of his army has come out, we may deliver our attack with advantage. So we have to draw them out of a position where they are strong. With regard to narrow passes, if you can occupy them first, let them be strongly garrisoned and await the advent of the enemy. Should the army forestall you in, an, in occupying a pass, do not go after him if the pass is fully garrisoned, but only if it is weakly garrisoned. With regard to precipitous heights, if you are beforehand with your adversary, you should occupy the raised and sunny spots and dare wait for him to come up. If the enemy has occupied them before you, do not follow him, but retreat and try to entice him away. If you are situated at a great distance from the enemy, and the strength of the two armies is equal, it is not easy to provoke a battle, and fighting will be to your disadvantage. These six are the principles connected with earth. The general who has attained a responsible post must be careful to study them. I'll put a link to this in the description below. This is from a, a free site, so you can also read this and more if you like. But I'll see you in the next episode and thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.